Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? How you doing? Today I've got a goodie for you. A real goodie. Um, I'm really thrown off by the fact why this brand is not talked about more often. Like I don't see any of the big influencers doing videos on this brand and I don't know why. I mean, maybe they have in the past. This is not in any way, shape, or form a new brand. Um, it's definitely not an expensive brand. I have done a video on it before. Um, and the brand is Profusion. So if you know anything about the brand Profusion, you can find it in Walmart, I believe like Walgreens, places like that. So basically a drugstore brand. But it's extremely inexpensive. So today I was on trend mood and I'm, you know, scrolling and I saw some um, new products from Milani. So I wanted to go and pick a few up. So I headed over to my local Walmart and, you know, I'm looking at the Milani display and all that. And it didn't, it didn't really grab me. There were some cute things there, some cute new palettes and stuff, but it, it didn't really grab me like that. So... When I turned around, like literally direct me be directly behind me, there was a whole section of Profusion palettes. And I remembered before I had got some really big palettes. I forget how many shadows were in there, like 15 or 20 or something like that. But it was like $10 for the palette. They have since raised the price. I believe that was probably like a year and a half, but it, it's not, it's like maybe 12 or 13 bucks but then I saw these which I'm about to show you and they were five dollars and 18 cents for a 10 pan eyeshadow thing and they have like different ones I picked up three of them I think there were like five or six different color stories I picked up three of them so I got the nudes and it looks like that I got the rubies it looks like that and I got the mauves the mauves just grabbed me I, I loved it also I'm not a complete stranger to other profusion things because I do wear the lashes I actually love the lashes they're actually really really good even the little glue is just as good as using the duo glue so I don't know why people don't talk about it and I'm trying to remember, I don't think I had many problems with the Profusion palettes. I don't think I have them anymore. I've since decluttered. Um, but as far as like color payoff, I think it was pretty good. So for this video, what I did in advance was my eyebrows, I put my face on. Forgive the little color difference going on here that you can see. I'm going to try to fix that in editing because in real life, I'm all one color <laughs> with my foundation, but for some reason the camera's picking up something different. But we're gonna ignore that. So, what I wanna do is get my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So that's my shadow base. And I'm just gonna put some on each eye because I wanted to be able to just jump right in and not have to do my whole face, you know, before or after, because I also, the Milani products that did stick out to me that I saw on Trend Mood, which were these lipsticks. They are so cute. I love the packaging. It's super, super cute. And this is the Color Fetish Matte Lipstick, and it's in 460 Central, which is this beautiful plum brown color. I can't wait. So, I got that. Hold on, let me do this. I got that and I got two of these. I want to give you the exact name. So I want to be out here making stuff up. These are the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayons. So I got two of them. I got one in So Obsessed. And that's this nice brown color. If you could tell I'm into the brown colors right now. And this one is called Off the Wall. And this is a very nice berry color. So, I got these three Milani's and those three, look, this one lipstick costs more than a whole palette. I'm just saying. So, the first palette I want to try, I think I'm going to start with the mauves because it's just pretty. It's really pretty. So, I have to take off the little safety, you know, tape thing. It's very small. It's literally just a piece of tape. I'm going to take that off. 
Oh, there's more than one. I hate that, but it's fine. Better that than to have something open that someone has been rubbing their fingers in. So let's get those out of here quickly. Let's open it up. Okay, do you feel? Okay, there we go. And on the back, it says it's a 10 shade palette. And it says create versatile looks with this travel friendly mauves palette. The richly pigmented and blendable multi finish shades range from an array of neutrals and dusty rose to plummy hues, suitable for all skin tones. I think I can agree with that. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, I almost dropped it. Let me grab a brush. And if you remember in one of my previous videos, I was telling you how I really didn't like um, BH Cosmetics brushes, right? So I was in Ross, and I'm like, oh, look at this. It's a little brush set for, it was like on clearance for like $5 or some change. It was in a nice box, and it came in this little bag, and I was, you know, I'm all about the glitter. So, and not paying attention to what brand it was, and lo and behold, BH Cosmetics brushes. <sighs> so the reason I do not like BH Cosmetics brushes is because they have no weight to them at all. They feel like what they are, which is cheap. And it it, it feel it's not just a thing of being cheap in price because I, I have used plenty of inexpensive brushes that don't feel like inexpensive inexpensive brushes these feel like inexpensive brushes so the first color i'm going to put down is called kindly that right there and i don't have a particular look in mind i'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna see with the pigment and fallout i mean it's a five dollar palette i don't expect perfection but if it's doable it's good by me so let's see so that color kindly is pretty much my skin tone, that's why. Or the closest in the palette to my skin tone. So that's why I chose that first. And I can see it. Can you see it? Because I can see it. It put a very light, you know, the first shade you put down to stop from the, the stick, from the, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And I'm using a brush that looks like this. I don't know if these, these are, they're not, this is a number one brush, a BH Cosmetics number one. BH Cosmetics number one. So let me go to the other side. And this is just to like set the base for the colors that I'm going to put after this. I'm going to jump into a color that I think is going to add some punch and that's going to be the way we're going to check our um pigment it says they're richly pigmented so let's see some rich pigments so i'm going to go in with this one this is called persona i'm going to use a little bit more of a denser brush because it looks like a more of a satin color so you get a better payoff with Let's just see how this goes. And I'm giving it ample opportunity. <sighs> Lots of opportunity, you see that? I put a lot on there, so let's go. Okay, I see it. I see it. See, all I ask for is workability. And as I'm moving, I see the satin sheen. So I like that. The color is definitely showing up. I did not have to wet the brush or anything like that, so. I don't know, I don't know why nobody talks about this. I mean, from what I saw, they don't have a whole lot of products that interest me, but I mean, I did go to Walmart as they were closing, so I didn't get a chance to look at everything. But as you can see, you can see the color. It is definitely showing up. It's not um, chalky, it's not dusty or anything like that. So now I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush. There is a bit of fa fallout, but even $100 eyeshadows have fallout, so I'm, that doesn't throw me off. This one is called Monsoon. 
that last dark color. So now we're really gonna see, we're really gonna see this, like this. And look at that, it looks really rich on the brush. So Look at that. It is not chalky, the color came right up and it is super blendable. Why are we not talking about these again? No one can answer me. Luckily, I'm a leader and not a follower, so I will be going back and um, checking out a few more of their products because this is working so quickly for me. I would say this is definitely beginner friendly, even though these colors are, you know, if I was a beginner, I'd probably stay away from these colors, but these are working extremely well. I've had very, very high-end um, brand eyeshadows that don't come up this strong, sadly. I look like I got hit in the face right now. I got some fallout, that's fine, because I didn't do my under eye concealer. But watch, you gotta trust the process. Whenever we're doing makeup, remember, you're always gonna look crazier before you look good. And that's just, that's just the way it, we all look like psychos before we um turn into our, our our celebrity look like versions so now i'm just gonna go on top i'm going back in with persona and that's just to blend and i'm really loving these mauve this is really pretty this is super duper pretty as you can tell i am not a professional Hence all that stuff going on in the top. I'm gonna go back in with the first color that I used kindly to try to like get rid of, there we go. See those harsh edges? We don't like them. Harsh edges are a no. And just a tip, whenever you're doing your, um, your eyeshadow and you know, you feel like you made a mistake, especially over here, don't worry about it. Like I always do my um, concealer at the end and sharpen it right up. There's like tons of different things you can do. Look at this. Y'all didn't see that. I'm gonna cut that one out. Cut that part out. Why did I rip that like this? Have my little arbor here. So I can get that out. Now, I know it's a lot of people's rule of thumb not to do their foundation and all that, and I get that, you know, before you do your eyeshadow, blah, blah, blah. I do what I want. And when I make mistakes that would fall into, you know, not doing it first, making sense, I still stand on it, but I do what I want. It's like that, you know? So let me fix this really quick. Where is my... Here it, goes. it still has a little bit of my foundation on it, so I'm just using that to fix this area. I don't know, I, I like it. I like the way the colors came out. I'm about to do my little concealer. This is how I fix everything. Concealer fixes everything. Definitely conceals. Just try to make sure you do it like straight, because that's when you'll be upset if you don't do it straight. Just do a straight line and yeah, that whole area is cleaned up. And I don't know, people have changed like the shape of, oh, how we're supposed to do this now. Listen, look, I do it like this. And that's how it's gonna stay. I mix my two concealers cause I don't want it too bright and I want it to blend seamlessly. So I mix the two together like that. I'm gonna, I did not wet my sponge, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just wiping off the excess foundation on my brush. I'll let this sit for like, you know, a few seconds, just a few. And go in like that. And look at that, I almost look like a professional. But I'm not done yet. Concealer just like fixes any problem you thought 
you had or mistake you thought you made, boom, fixed. Fixed. And then once you add your liner and your lashes, psh, whole other level fixed. I'm just trying to get that perfect line under there. And under here. And look at that. Bright. It blended in perfectly. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to jump into... I'm going to powder my face. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to add a, a little something on the inner corner. And we'll finish the liner and the lashes and all that. But I'm going to do the powdering, contouring, all that, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I've gone ahead. I've thrown on my eyeliner, my powders, contour, blush, highlighter, blah, blah, blah. Because I want to skip on to the good stuff. Um, if you're wondering about the eyeliner that I used... For my liquid liner, I use the KBD Beauty Tattoo Liner. And for my under eye, I use my Urban Decay in Perversion. Turn the camera a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's definitely time for a new one. But yeah, there's that. So I added a little mascara. I use the Tom Ford Extreme Mascara. Which is just mascara. So I'm wondering which color I want to try. I'm guessing since this is like roses and mauves that I should use this off the wall color which looks like this I don't know is it gonna is it gonna go is it not or should I use a brown because I really want to jump into I got a little dust going on I really want to jump into the lip color I'm just gonna try it and if it's good it's good and if it's not we'll, we'll switch to something else so again this is the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon I have a little moisturizer on my lip, so I'm going to move that. And let's see. Oh, wow. Um, I believe these were $7.99, by the way. This is really pretty. This is extremely pretty. I'm loving how smooth it goes on and it's like because the shape of it. How easy. That was so easy. So easy and so pretty so quick. That is really pretty. Should we try the brown? I mean, not for the look, but just to try it. Because that was off the wall. So, this is off the wall. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Hold on. I hate switching lipsticks when I have a look done. But I'm going to do it. I always feel like I'm going to like mess up my foundation or something. All right, so we got that off. That first color was off the wall, and we're going to go in with this color, which is so obsessed. And this is its like a nudie, mauve brownie. Nudie, mauve brownie. That's what it is. It's a nudie, mauve brownie. I'm gonna take that off. Let's see. I feel like the other one stained my lip, no? I think it did. I'll just try to... Now let's give this one a go anyway. Ah, I like this one. Oh my goodness. And these are so smooth. Oh man. I see myself going back and grabbing a few more. They had a really a decent, you know, color selection. Oh man, this is pretty. I think I can't say that I like this one better than I like the first one, but I don't know. I think I like them the same. So look at the color differences here. And this is this one. 
And this this one was the first one that I put on. These are so soft. So smooth. They don't feel like they're drying. I mean, I could get away with either one of them with this eye look, which we're going to finish in a second, but. Mmm. I want to try this lipstick, though. I think I want to try it more because of the packaging, but whatever. Let me just open that. Mm -mm -mm. Why is my camera shifting? It wants to fight me, that's why. Oh. Let me see. Just trying to get the plastic thing off. Okay. So we can see what it looks like because I didn't get to see what it looked like, of course. You know, there's no testers in drugstore stuff. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Okay, let me take this one off so I can try that. And this color is called Sensual. I, I can see it. Sensual. I see it. These colors are very winter loving melanin loving shades i'll say that there's just something about a good brown on you know brown brown skin people i want to stay politically correct here that it just pops so beautifully. So let's see, this is sensual. Ah. So pretty. Mm. I gotta clean that up with a brush, but this is gorgeous. Oh man. I see myself wearing these three colors in rotation constantly. I don't even know for how long, but these are beautiful. And they all look pretty similar. I wanna say this one and this one look pretty similar, but you can see this is more of a brown, this is more of a berry. But it came out pretty similar. I have to clean that up with a brush. Don't bother me about that. And then this one is a nice nudie mauve brownie moment. These are gorgeous. And these are all Milani. So again, this one is called So Obsessed. This one is Off the Wall. And this one is Sensual. Or So Sensual. Hold on. Sensual. So we have that. I'm going to use a tiny little brush from this BH Cosmetics thing. And try to smooth that edge these darker colors are like so nice they look so nice and I can get away with this color for this look so I want to use my profusion lashes and this you get what five pairs of lashes and the glue and this is called big t's the fullest wispies um i saw i think there was another option also when i go back i'll take some footage while i'm there um but i like these these are very full they're very pretty these are faux mink lashes so you know i'm all about faux mink lashes i'm not paying a bunch of money Especially when I know how I do strip lashes. I am not that person that wears them two, three, four times and I'm washing them and this. No. And trust me, you can't tell the difference between my lashes and me standing next to somebody with, you know, more a more expensive brand of lashes. You're not going to be able to tell. You're, you're just not. So I don't let those things bother me. Certain things I spend on, certain things I do not. Um, so yeah, just gonna bend the band a bit, go back and forth with it. And I'm actually, oh, I dropped the package. <sighs> Whatever. I do have some duo glue, duo lash glue right there, but I'm gonna use the glue that it came with. Hopefully, if it's open, if not, I think I have another one here because I've been using it. So this is 
don't mind the makeup on it it's the same thing it's the pro pro fusion eyelash adhesive and you know you know the drill you got to put the layer on and then let it uh dry a bit and this holds really well just a tip that everyone should know at this point whenever you're putting on false strip lashes get those edges get them put extra glue there because that's the part that will ruin your day when you have your lash lifting nothing is more annoying than that and people are looking they're looking they can see it you know so I'm just going to put it on both of them these are so cool and I don't want to lie about the price, but I could tell you it was definitely under $10. I think this whole pack was like six bucks and some change, maybe. I don't even think it was that much. I'm going to um, put the price for what I paid for these. I'm actually going to check and see. I don't know. I should have looked before, but I don't know if they have like a website or anything. If they do, I'm going to be looking into their products because... I, I can do this now what I want to do is do a wear test with it I want to wear it for a full day and see like is the color gonna fade are they gonna go away is there a reason why people don't genuinely talk about this brand because right now I can't see it oh I forgot to put the pop of uh, the shininess on the inside hold on let me get to that well, let me get to that let me use this other BH cosmetics brush and this is a uh, number three bh3 and what i want to use for the inner part i think i'm going to use that that glitter it looked like it looks like a pressed glitter and it's called ooh la la ooh la la let's see let's see that look at that oh my god five dollars and 18 cents i'm going to get the whole collection i'm going to have the whole collection because you know, you know what this, um, I was sitting here and I'm thinking, and I'm like, what does this color story remind me of? And it's giving, it's giving very much Pat McGrath Divine Rose. That's what I'm getting. That's what it's giving and that's what I'm getting. That's it. Definitely. That's what it's giving. I, you know. Did I lose an eyelash? Because it would be me to lose an eyelash. It kind of, it fell a little bit, but I'm, I'm still going to use it. Now, if you see me struggling with the eyelash, it has nothing to do with the lash or the glue. It's just me. I don't know how to put on eyelashes. So, I struggle with that. Always have. No matter how simple. Like, I thought magnetic lashes were the best thing ever. And they were, except for the fact, like I said, I'm not washing lashes. And they are extremely expensive. It was like $30 a pair. And they're like, oh, you can wear this 500 times. I'm exaggerating. You can wear them like 30 times. And I'm not washing lashes. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to peel them off. Okay, they're going to be next to my sink. Or they're going to be on my nightstand. And then the next step after that is they're going to be in the garbage. I have never worn a pair of lashes more than maybe two times and that was if I just couldn't find another pair. So that that's why I gave up on magnetic lashes. I am not that girl. I'm not sitting there with no soap and water washing these little strip lashes. It's not going to happen. So I need some good ones that I can pop on look cute and when I'm ready to take them off it's not gonna bother me if I feel like throwing them out the window because I have been known to do that too if my lashes are bothering me and let's say I'm driving they're gonna be in the cup holder they're gonna be out the window this sis right here I do not care see look at that so oh I don't know where my uh, thing is to blend my lashes to I know what I'm talking about, the crimpy thingy. It's not the eyelash curler. But this glue is very tacky. 
and it holds very well like I've worn these lashes and been able to wear them all day with no problem so I'm genuinely confused why this brand is not raved about I think sometimes we just like spending money as crazy as it sounds I think we just like spending money unnecessarily because like look at this look I'm totally giving divine rose and high-end you know mink lashes and all that it, it the look is giving that I don't know but anyway this is the the finished look I am gonna take some pictures probably do my hair a little bit a little something hmm hmm add a little picture on the end or something um but yeah I thank you guys for sitting with me <sighs> Is it just me? I know it's not just me that happens too. It's from the powders, but anyway. I thank you guys for sitting with me while I play with some inexpensive makeup today. And we had, you know, our little chit chat and all that stuff. And you got to see these lashes in action. And I hope you come back. I'm going to get some more stuff, do some more stuff. We're going to have more fun. It's going to be great. So, I'm rambling at this point. But thank you guys for joining me and I will see you next time.